good to be here tonight. I thank God for all of you. Especially thanks to my heart for our visitors. I am so grateful just to be here. blessing yes. from the Lord, yes. the great Jehovah, yes. that I'm here tonight. Yes. And I praise him. Yes. Amen. Yes. Times now, they're so dark. But it's telling us one thing, that Jesus is on his way back. And I know for sure that I need to be ready. I know that all men need to be ready. Even though most will be caught not ready. And that is according to the scripture, not according to what I say, but according to what God's word has already said. I thank him for saving me. I'm, I'm glad that I'm glad that the Lord one day convicted my soul and allowed me to know that I was a sinner. And he also allowed me to know that joining the church would not fix that. Getting baptized in water, it cannot fix that. But I'm so thankful that the Lord convicting my soul and I gave my life to Jesus and after giving my life to him he changed my life and the things that I love as I live I did not love those things anymore And I'm so grateful that I learned later on that I could not change myself. It, it, it is a sad thing to know that people have abstained from so many things. Yet, when the Lord looked, he would not see his blood. And in that, men will not be saved. Out of all we can abstain from and out of, out of all the things that we can do ourselves, the blood of Jesus must be applied to our life. And the only way we will know that is by his conviction and our life changing and knowing that we did not make the change. Amen. I learned something else too. I'm glad I learned this. That flesh is no good. Men love to be praised and lifted up. They love position. But then you check out the word of God, you will find that they do not love God. It's sad, but it is true. Most church folks 
will not make it. And especially in our day, people are gone. They are so gone away from the word of God until when you are able to see it, you then begin to wonder why the Lord has not come already. Men love themselves. And you try to tell men the truth and, and try to get them to see their way to heaven and they will fight you to go to hell. That's right. But I'm going to say this. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standing sure. Yes. Amen. Amen. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them who are his. And see, it doesn't matter what I think so much about myself. What does matter is what God knows. And he said, I know for sure those who are mine. And he said, let all of mine depart from iniquity. That's the only way you'll know. Because you know that every man, unless something was wrong with them, they love flesh. Flesh is our worst enemy. Amen. Amen. It will cause you to go straight to the lake as you pet it up. You know, if ugliness is in a man, it doesn't matter how hard they try to get it out of them. It will never be gone unless God does it. And then a man can stop doing every known sin that he has ever done. If he's able to stop all the sin that he knows about in his life, still, without the blood of Jesus, you will be lost. I'm glad that I know the method and the remedy for salvation. Amen. Amen. And it is about nothing that no man can do. Right. Amen. 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 Someone might be thinking, why do I talk the way I talk, even though what I'm talking is it's the Bible. Right. Some people might be wondering, why do I talk the way I talk? Say the things that I say. Yes. One of the reasons. I do not want your blood on my hand when I stand before the Lord. If I do not tell you the truth, then your blood will be on my hand. Then it, it will be, woe is me. But if I tell you the truth and you do not do it, then it's war is you. I'm thankful. I'm glad that God is a just God. And he knows about us all. And there is nothing hidden. Amen. From God. Nothing. I'm glad he had mercy on me. 
Amen. 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 And Sister Sarah, yes. when he wash you. Yes. Now this is beyond your mind, but it's true. Yes. When he wash you, yes. it is as though you never committed a sin. Yes. No matter what the devil tries to say. And I praise him. I praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So thankful for tonight. Thank God for every smiling face. Thank God for Brother Joe. Yeah. I said uh, one time, been about maybe a couple of years ago, I said he's my delight. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I am so grateful for each of you. Yeah. And I need your undivided attention. Yes. Amen. Amen. Meaning when something happened on this side of the room, yes. if I'm talking and, you, and your attention goes there, I don't have your undivided attention. But I need yes. your undivided attention. Yes. It could be something, if it is heated, said tonight that will stand with you when you stand before the Lord. I praise him. I'd like for you to turn your Bibles to the book of Second Timothy. Chapter 3. I would like to read. Verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. This know also that in the last days, the last days, we've been living in the last days for a long time. But we are now living in the very close of the last days. The last days begin with the birth of Christ. Amen. Amen. And we're called to mate in Christ return to the earth to set up his kingdom. Amen. Perilous times indicates that apostasy will characterize the found days of the church age. I say now, God, I thank you for your word. This is so true. It is so true until it causes you, only if you can see, it causes you to tremble on the inside. That word, perilous. In the Greek, it 
it indicates and it is saying that that word means dangerous. We are living in dangerous times. I'm listening at my granddaughter and I'm thinking on what she said, even being afraid to go to school because as there has been so many shootings, so, so much killing. And we can be thankful that God saved one of, one of ours, you might say, yes. on Sunday. Yes. On Saturday, he was here at his friend funeral. I think he was 18, 18 years old. And he was here on Sunday morning. I don't know all the details, and I'm not going to try to go into that because I might say something wrong, so I will just say it was a guy. And I'm just going to repeat the last thing that he said. Well, he said that, well, you all looking for trouble, something like that, but he said that, i tell you what I'm, I'm going to do. I'll kill all of you all. So he shot all three of them. And we thank God for saving Jairus. Amen. Amen. We thank God for saving him. For some reason, God, I say he got it, the, the bullet. It just went straight through him. And I think that he was able, after going to the hospital, he was able to go home. Yes. Even though one of the young men were killed, right. Right. and the other one, I guess, lost a lot of blood because he had to have a transfusion. Yes. But saying that is to say again, we're living in perilous times. Yes. Dangerous times. People are leaving, young and old. They are leaving, but the main thing we should, those of us who know truth, we should be ready to meet God. But we'd be too busy saying this one didn't speak to me and all kind of ugly things, things that does not even matter. When each individual need to be concerned about their soul. We are living in dangerous times. And when the apostle was talking to Timothy, I believe, and he said, this know also. What was he saying? It is a fact. You can depend upon it. Amen. It will come to pass. Amen. So, preach it. That's what has failed. You preach it. You preach the gospel. Amen. Stand by it, live by it, and die by it. This is what the Apostle Paul wanted Timothy to know. Amen. But what does Paul want Timothy to know? That in the last days, perilous times, not may or might, 
but shall and will come. We need to know that, but mainly we need to believe that. Then we can allow God to get all that stuff in us that don't need to be there. So we can be ready to meet the Lord because because we can see that we are living in the very end of the day of grace. We are right at the end of the day of grace. We should really be girl up. Amen. And making sure that our anchor holds. And that it is and that it has gripped that solid rock. And that rock is Christ. I said some years ago, many years ago. I know that I do not want to spend my time here thinking that I'm saved. I want to know. Amen. I want to know that I'm saved. Because not to know is misery. But now, to think you know, yet you do not know, it is more misery. But my friend, dangerous times are here. I mean, it is days of pearls, anxiety, and, and even fear. Amen. Flesh. Feels fear. But I don't mean fear concerning the salvation now. But fear because it's dangerous time. Very dangerous time. Thank you, Jesus. And for a thought, just for a thought. My subject, or I say just a thought, it will be preach the word. Preach the word. Do not deviate and do not uh, take from. But preach the word. Lord Jesus. I'm telling you, I'd be afraid almost to go to funerals. <clears throat> Something has happened in this world, people. When men love men in authority, loves the wages of sin. Yet, they are up trying to tell others something. Thank you, Jesus. And that means there are enemies. There are many enemies who said that they are carrying the gospel. And my friend, nothing is with them. Nothing bothers them. They have become so cold and uncaring 
They are callous. And you can see it too. Callous mean you you do not feel. People can die all around, you don't feel nothing. You are callous. People have callous on their feet or sometimes on the hand. And you can stick a pen in it and walk with it and you do not feel a thing. Why? Because those callous, they are dead. People do not feel anymore. Dangerous times. It, it really bothers you so. When you see an individual, you know, trying to have mercy, I say, and love and pity, when you know, and if you, if God allow you to spiritually discern this, you know that it's not real. It do a lot to you. But that's only now if you can see, and if you have care. Amen. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. And they are here. People say, well, I know I'm not bothered because I'm in Jesus. You better make sure of that. Because I've seen people talk so big. And, and if you be around them much, you know that they are so far from what they are talking. They are so far from what they are talking. But I'm glad that God has given us a remedy. Is it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, he has. I said the thought was preach the word. Yeah. Preaching the word. I'm talking about straight down the line. Yeah. Is the God ordained means to prevent defection from the truth? Yeah. It is. The word of God must be preached. You go places, and I said this to you another time, Brother Joe. I don't know about you, but well, you go, but um, sometimes the places we go, people curse in the church, in the pulpit. They curse, and it. The average person, how do you know the average person? It, don't, it does not bother because they be laughing and saying amen. That's why I know it don't bother. But God is totally against that. Amen. But the Lord needs someone to preach the truth. Without fear yes. and without favor yes. to any man. Yes. Yes. But stand on yes. the word of God. Yes. Not trying to throw off, right. but make sure you have, a, have the love of God in your heart. Yes. Yes. But preach the truth. Yes. Preach the truth. I'm sorry to say this, but this is true. Parents, they are going to find out how they should have raised their children. They're going to find it out. Oh, no doubt about that. And you know, um, sometimes it's not good. For them to have all these cell phones. And then some people do not take all that stuff, that sinful stuff, off these phones. And sometimes they look at everything. 
all ungodly stuff. Then one day, they're going to wake up. Because see, all the demons are going to be gone. They are going to wake up and find out I help my own children to go to hell. Oh, it's, it's going to happen. We are living in those days. Amen. Dangerous times. Are you glad about Jesus? Are you glad about him? Amen. I said, God, I thank you. Ain't God good to us? Um, the purpose of his own examples, this is the Apostle Paul talking to Timothy, and exhort him to continue. Amen. Amen. Continue in the faith. Yes. Don't we need to continue? Yes. Continue in the doctrine that you have learned yes. from the Holy Scripture. Yes. Are you glad about Jesus? Yes. Amen. Yes. That's Second Timothy, second chapter, the third chapter. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. It's good. Thank you, Jesus. To know God. Except Second Timothy. Third chapter, I mean the fourth chapter, and the first verse. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, I was thinking when I saw that word charge. Say, I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Those who are born again, we have a charge. We have a charge on our life. Thank you, Jesus. I charge thee, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. who shall judge the quick and the dead mm -hmm. at his appearing and his kingdom, who shall judge the quick, the living, and the dead. And this is what matters. God is what matters. It is what he has said. It is so dangerous for an individual who think that they know and you can't tell them nothing. They hear nothing you say. It doesn't matter how much truth in it or how much truth it is. That's a sad thing. But uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, he's going to judge the quick, the living, and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. What does he say? Verse 2, preach the word. He said, preach the word. Amen. Oh, yes. Preach the word. Preach the word. My friend, those who will preach the word, you can believe. They are just like a sultan. Believe it now. Because we are living in a time when people say what they want to say. And they call it gospel. They call it what God has said, yet he never said it. But he said, preach the word. Be instant. Be instant in season, out of season. Be ready. Mm -hmm. In season, out of season. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. I mean, this needs to be done. Yes, Lord. But when man will not hear, it falls on deaf ears. Amen. 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 We need to hear tonight. So we can allow God to do what needs to be done in our lives. Amen. Preach the word, be instant, be ready. In season, out of season, that means all time you be ready to preach the word of God. And remember, do not change nothing. Do not change nothing to try to make it fit you because that's not going to work with God. But we need to preach the word. It will cause men, if they hear, if the gospel be preached, it will cause men to Repent, yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. and be saved. Yes. But the gospel must be yes. preached. Yes. Why? Because it is dangerous time. Yes. Dangerous time. Yes. When men do not believe the word of God. Yes. Sometimes I do not look. I just do not look at some television ministries. I just don't look. It bothered me too bad. And you might can look at it all, but I'm talking about me. It bothers me. I said, why would I put myself in this? Since it bothers me. Because I don't believe all this stuff. But we need to preach the word in which God has ordained. Amen. 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 To prevent infection from the truth. That's why. And as I was saying, it's just a lot of things we don't even, we just don't think about. But yet when we meet God, we're going to find out about him if we don't allow God to show us now. You can't, you can't even sit down hard and have a meal together with your family. I'm going to tell you why. Because all these cell phones. You hear what I say? It doesn't matter who's doing it. It's still wrong. That's right. And you are deviating yes. from the truth. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what that lady talking about. You want to know. Yes. You keep living and please do not die. You shall never go know. Right. Amen. Amen. I believe most children and most folks I believe they are actually consumed with the, with the phones now it doesn't have the phones in the Bible just like when Jesus come back we didn't know until a, a few years ago how the whole world was going to look on them because they didn't have satellites and they didn't have television. Right. But now we know how That's all right. the world will be able to look on them. That's right. Same thing with the phone. That's right. Amen. 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 There are so many things 
and see because people have become um, immune to the phones that they don't just think nothing wrong with it. Because see, when you continue on anything, you become callous. And darkness is not dark to you. Amen. Why? Because everywhere you look, look like everybody doing it. So you feel like it's all right. But guess what? It's not all right. It's not okay. Dangerous times. Phones have taken the place of family gatherings. That's why the only thing, and it got to be obeyed, the only thing that's going to bring a cure is preaching the word, and it must be believed. Amen. See, sometimes when truth are told, and people get to talking in their mind. They might say, well, I just don't believe that. Hush. You tell that thing to hush. Because they're trying to damn your soul. Tell it to hush. The truth is the truth. No matter who do not believe it, it's still truth. Amen. And preaching the word, and because it is a dane of God, I'm telling you, this is the only thing that can prevent defection from the truth. We better preach the word, Minister Brad. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Preach it. Yes. Live by it. Yes. Die by it. Yes. Preach the word. This is the only thing that's going to help us. Amen. The only thing that's going to help us. Preach the word, reprove, rebuke. And people don't like to be reproved. Uh -huh. And they do not like to be rebuked. But this is what the word says. I didn't say this. This was here long before I was thought about. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and what? Doctrine. Amen. 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 And, and even in this, um, in chapter 3 of um, Second Timothy, it's talk about the children. And I'm telling you, children now. If they are not taught what's right, they'll fight back. They'll, they'll fight the parents, and, and the parents might say, Stop dead. That's not what God says. That's, right. That's not what God says. Right. He said, You teach those children. Yes. Teach them what's right. Yes. And when they are old, it didn't say they, but it will not depart from them because some of my children, they say this, they still remember. When they go to do something wrong, they still remember yes. how they were taught. They still lost, but they remember. Yes. Yes. They lost, though. Yes. But they remember yes. how they were taught. Yes. And it says that grandmamas, I have some grands here. Oh, they don't want you to touch those children. They don't want you to touch them. I'm not like that. Amen. Spare not the rod. That's what the scripture says. But you will not believe the word of God says what it says. When you look at how it is. That's right. And people be talking, I mean talking, saying all kind of things. Yes. 
and they be that they're guilty. Right. And they can be and going to wish yes. they, that they had done what was right. You can believe that. That's why sometimes when Justin talks, which I'm like that about all the children, but he talks about himself. When he talks, sometimes that thing get on me. I know I need to pray for this young man. Because men do not, young men do not talk like that. It don't even be welcome like that. So I know I need to pray for him. I said, I want God yes. to bless yes. that young man. Yes. Amen. 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 Exalt with all long suffering and doctrine. Now he's telling us why. Read. Verse 3. For the time will come. For the time will come. And it is here. Amen. Almost at the end of it. Yes. For the time will come mm -hmm. when they will not endure sound doctrine. They don't want to hear it. That's what right. in the word that lady talking about? What in the word that man if he's telling the truth? What he talking about? And children be so bold now they they do it. That body language is so bad. It talks. They'll tell the mother, the parent. I'm ready to go right. and yeah. think nothing about it. Right. But we better not spare the rod. Right. Amen. 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 I thank you, Jesus. Amen. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. I want you to know it's here. And it's not here just with, with the children and the young folk. It's here with old folks, too. A person said that they are born again. I'm trying to, an elder now. And you tell them what God says. Honey, child, I've been knowing the man a long time. Still telling lies. Amen. And God said all liars. Go have their part in the lake. Amen. I didn't say that. If I had said it, maybe you don't need to pay too much attention to it. But God said it. Amen. I'm telling you. They will not endure sound doctrine. But what they do. But after their own lust. But after their own lust, whatever it is they want to hear. That's right. Whatever appeased the, the flesh. Yeah. But what now? But after their own lust, shall they heap to themselves teachers. They heap to themselves teachers. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, that one time it used to bother me because I didn't just fully understand and know. God's word. All religious folks that are not obeying the truth, they are so together. They are so together. But now I know. Oh, now I know why. Because they serving the same master. And someone that say be there, they are torn asunder. I mean on the inside. To see that people love ungodliness. And it says that they were what? They were not into a sign doctrine, mm -hmm. but after their own lust. See, people, people have actually told me. I've actually heard people say that I remember this particular denomination because I can do what I want to do. 
and don't nobody say nothing to bother my sins. Isn't that awful? Yes. It's the truth, though. Yes. The more truth, the more flesh do not like it. I don't want us to be entangled with the flesh because it's our enemy. Our own flesh is our enemy. Do you praise him? Are you glad about Jesus? That's why we need to preach the word. Oh, men might not hear. But you freed yourself. The blood is not on your hand. But you better make sure you tell it, tell the truth. But first, even before that, you better make sure you're living it. So that when you preach it, God can be with you. Amen. People talk about the unlearning, the unlearning, the unlearning. I said, well, I wonder what they're talking about. But I find out the unlearning in so many places. Amen. It means that the one is preaching the word that God is with them. Amen. 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 I tell people, don't try to step nowhere where you don't need to step now. Right. If you haven't lived right. that suffering life in which God requires, do not try to do. Yes. Amen. 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 Things that you have not lived up to. That's right. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. 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 But God says for his preachers to preach the word. Yes. Amen. Because yes. it's coming a time when men will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust, shall they heat to themselves teachers having itching ears, teachers that will say things like, uh, Sister Carolyn, you better find you a husband. No. I'm not going to tell you to find one. I'm going to tell you to let God find you one. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's what God said. Yeah. If you're saved. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We have a lot of single young ladies. But I tell them just like I told my own daughter. I like God to give you a husband. And don't think he just, I'm talking about God. Now I'm not talking about you going to get one because you can go get them all day long. But we must be faithful yes. to God yes. before we think he's going to give us a husband or wife. Yes. First be faithful to God yes. and allow God yes. to give you a husband yes. or a wife. Yes. See, but people heat to themselves someone that's going to tickle to the, their ears and make their flesh feel good. Because everybody wants them a husband. Everybody wants them a wife. But I'm just going to say this. Just make sure God did it. That's right. Amen. Amen. Make sure God did it. Right. Do, you, do you asking for trouble? Trouble. Yes. That's what the scripture says. Yes. 
Amen. Amen. But they heap to themselves teachers, someone that will tickle their ears, someone that will tell them something that will make and cause their flesh to feel good. And what will they do? Verse Listen four. at what they will do. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about what the scripture says they will do. Uh -huh. yes. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. Yes. That's right. That's what will happen. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Careless time. Dangerous time. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. And what? And shall be turned unto fables. You turn your ears away from the truth, there's nowhere else to go but to fables. Something that's not true. Do you praise God? I'm telling you, I'm telling your people, you would not think that it is in the scriptures, so as what we read on tonight, right here, you would not even think it's in the word of God, from what you see. I said the man that that's in the gutter and perhaps never heard the gospel. They're going to be better off than those that sit under the truth and did not obey. Amen. I said, Lord, help us. But what he said. Verse five. But watch thou in all things. But watch thou in all things. Endure affliction. Endure affliction, because if you preach the word, you will, and you will, affliction will come. That's Amen. Right. That's right. But God said, endure it. Yes. Yes, Lord. Endure affliction. Yes. Amen. Yes. I can tell you some things. Yes. I can tell you some things. And I could even give people one. Perhaps they don't think so. But I know so. Thank you, Jesus. It's bad to touch something that God has ordained. Oh, people think nothing about it because they don't fall dead. That's not how it worked in this day. If we was in the olden days, but now we are under the day of grace. So you can say things, you can do things. Nothing might not happen to you that you can see. That's right. That's right. That's right. But sometimes it has already happened. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. But watch thou in all things, endure affliction. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof. the word of God evangelize. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Make full proof of thy ministry. Make full proof of thy ministry. That's right. Make sure as you tell the gospel, you are in God's will. And you are doing what he would have you to do. Do you praise him? Yes. Let us all remember this, preaching the word. Is God ordained means, and I'm so glad about it, to prevent defection from the truth. Is God, I'm going to say his divine yes. method. Yes. 
is preaching yes. the word of God. Yes. Straight down the line. Yes. Now, sometimes people don't tell people the truth in a way to allow them to see their ailments. They need to see your ailments. I need to see mine. Amen. People love to tell people, oh, you so sweet, you you so this, and you, got, oh, you, uh-uh. You need to know what you're saying when you say that. That's right. First, you be talking about so sweet. Be the devil ten times. Amen. 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 But I truly praise God. Amen. Amen. For the word of God. In gospel time, there would be perilous time. I'm going to tell you why. I've seen this too. And I've lived through this. Perilous time on account of persecution from without, as out in the world, and persecution from within. Even the more persecution from within. You still must preach the word. Amen. Still knowing this is God's or this is what He has a day. Right. So you still must preach the word of God. Amen. Amen. Regardless. Do you praise him? Yeah. Um second Timothy. Three in verse, I believe. Second Timothy three and verse fourteen. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned. And has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. And knowing of whom thou hast learned this. And what? And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, mm -hmm. which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. And we need to read that again. Yes. And, fr and that from a child mm -hmm. thou hast known the holy scriptures. Yes which are able to make the wise unto what? Salvation. Salvation through? Through faith, through, mm -hmm. which is in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's why yeah. one must preach yeah. the word, yeah. preach the truth. Yeah. Amen. 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 Mm-hmm. Verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Mm -hmm. And is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Amen. All the word of God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It is all scripture is given by inspiration of God. And is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Why? Verse 17 tell us why. That's why we need to preach the word. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. That the man of God. That the man of God. May be perfect. May be perfect. Thoroughly furnished. I mean, I mean, 
furnish every room. Yes. Praise him. Thoroughly furnish him. Yes. Give you everything that you need. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Unto all good works. Unto all good works. We have a charge on our lives. Truly, we thank God for just that little knowledge. Yes. And we praise him, yes. for he is worthy to be praised yes. and honored. Yes. God so loved the world, he gave heaven best, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but will have life everlasting. May God bless you and may God keep you. That's my prayer. I truly praise God yes. for being here and I'm so thankful since time is so dangerous and that's just a little bit. It tells you so much about all that. But um, I thank God for taking care of our children. Yes. We have to go out to school. And I thank God for taking care of all of us. I'm telling you, it is dangerous time. Amen. And I know I need to try to, and I don't want to say this in a way like I'm just trying so, but I want to allow God to keep my life clean so that I can get a prayer through to God. It is so much needed. It is so much needed. One person said, I can pray for myself. I said, well, not with all that hate in you. you, know, you just think you can pray. All that hate. We can't pray with all that hate in us. Hate and want to tear down what God has done. Isn't that sad, people? Tear down, not build up, but tear down what God has done. But I'm praising God, for he loved us so much until he gave his son. And the son became willing to give his life. May God bless you, and may God keep you. That's my prayer, Brother Derek.